What is going on, Fast Life family? It's your boy Fast Life Prince. I'm back here again with another YouTube video. In this video, you guys clearly see by the title and the thumbnail. You know what I'm saying, damn, machine look good right here. Machine look fun. But yeah, you guys clearly see by the title and thumbnail. I got requested to do a video like this. So this is basically what you should look for when buying an M340 or yeah, when buying your M340, what you should look for basically. So get to a better location. So basically in this video, this is just stuff to look out for when you when you're buying your M340 because I got um I got a comment saying they want to see a video on the things that they should look out for because they're looking to get an M340. So I want to let you guys know these things because you know what I'm saying this is really some stuff that you really want to know if because if you want to get that specific package that you guys want, one second. What was that code again? One second, one second. In the meantime, you guys hit the like button. But give me one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Yeah, man. All right. Oh my. My shit. Oh my, yo. I also have some good news about the tune, so yeah. Let me find a spot to park up at though. Get some good lighting. All right, here you. So, back to what I was saying. Um, there's a lot of things to look out for when you're buying an M340 uh, regarding like packages and stuff like that. You want to get that specific package. You want to have specific things on your M340. It's a lot of things to look out for because sometimes these don't come with that they come with some options but they don't come with the other options and there's a lot of options that you could tick off and a lot of options that you that people don't tick off when they order the car or stuff like that so as for like option one you guys could um make sure like if you want laser lights these are not laser lights these are the regular L led lights or else whatever you know what i'm saying the other regular lights but they got laser lights that come in a package i kind of wanted laser lights but at the same time i didn't really care for laser lights or not but the laser lights do look good on the m340s they, they do look good so you know if you want a laser lights make sure you have one that's option with the laser lights another option that you guys do want to look out for is the parking sensors some of them don't come with parking sensors actually no never mind i think all of them do um but it's just the 360 camera that some don't come with so well, most of them don't come with the 360 camera. So if you want 360 camera with parking sensors and all that stuff, when you have the 360 camera, the car could park itself. Like it would um, do a whole park, it, it would park itself. So if you want that feature and you want to be able to, uh, you want to be able to like, you know, have the 360 camera feature where like the car shows you all around. So you also have the cameras on the mirrors. So if you're like looking to get one, the way how you could tell if it has the 360 camera when you're looking at pictures online, just look for like, if there's any close-up pictures, just look for a camera right here. I doubt there'll be a close-up picture on the mirrors, but you could look for a camera right here too. And then of course you got the reverse camera, but yeah. So as for like 360 camera, this is basically what it's gonna show you right here. Oh no, a big one, a big one. 
a big deal to look for if you really want a 360 camera is for this button right here. If you have this button, then that means you have the 360 camera. Because this is like your uh, button to press when you want to have the car park itself or whatnot. But as you guys can see, you got 3D view. You see when the door is open. If I close the door, then it'll show the, clo uh, the door being closed. And this is like live footage too. So I don't know if you guys will see, but you guys can see cars moving right over there. Focus, no mind. Watch, you'll see that car moving. You see it? See that car moving? Car just moved right over there. But yeah, so it's like a live, live 360 camera view. You also got backup assistant. And you got auto, auto parking, stuff like that. So it's a good feature. It's a good option to have. You know what I'm saying? So if you want that feature, you want that option. Just make sure you guys take uh, keep a lookout for that. Another feature. Um, there's some more options and features. What's another one? Another one. I think they all come with the welcome lights. All right, my camera just stopped recording for some reason. I think it's because it connected to the car. But yeah, so like I was saying, another one would be like your wheel and tire option. Um, sometimes they will come with the sport, the sport wheels. Oh, there go my boy Ramsey. Oh, snap, that Supra. That Supra is clean. That's like one of the cleanest Supras out here. But yeah, so you, got, you guys will have like the sport um, wheel options and stuff like that. Um, and then sometimes it'll give you like the base, the base wheels. And I'm glad I didn't get the base wheels, even though I was changing the wheels anyways, but I didn't really want the base wheels. And you, you guys will see the difference when you go online and you look at the M340s, some of them will have the sport wheels and some of them have the base wheels. I don't really know the real names for them, but yeah, another thing. Yeah. And then another thing you can look out for, which it's not really a big deal. Cause you could just change it all anyways, is the grills. So. If you guys seen when I first got my M340, you guys seen that these girls were bronze and I changed it out to the black ones, the gloss black. I kept it diamond shape because I like the diamond, the diamond shape of it. So damn, it's really, I should have went somewhere else. It's mad loud over here. But yeah, so it was bronze, but I switched it for the gloss black. My mirror caps were bronze. I switched it for carbon fiber mirror caps. But you have an option where it's like, it's gloss black um, front grill mirror caps i'm pretty sure they're either white or they're gloss black not too sure about that but you can have that option too um the bronze that it was is this and yeah i want i do want to get these in black or wrap them in black or something like that i don't know but that's the color that the front grill was and my mirror caps and then let me see oh, you guys see the bronze right there so that would be gloss black if you get like the i think the, the i'll just call it the black pack I'll just call it the black package if you get the black package. <laughs> but yeah, another option <clears throat> is the M, M Performance exhaust. Um, that's kind of a rare option because I don't really see a lot of them with the M Performance exhaust. Even though this stock exhaust sounds crazy. You guys heard how crazy my car was popping when it was stock. And now that it, I have a downpipe on it, it pops like way crazier. So yeah, you could, you know, keep a lookout for that. But I don't really know how the M Performance and performance exhaust sounds differently from the stock one. I don't really think it sounds any different. Uh, just my personal opinion, even though I never heard it, but I only heard it on like YouTube videos and stuff like that. But the video, you can't really capture the real sound. So I'm not gonna say much about it yet. Hold on, just appreciate just appreciate how good the machine looked right now. Oh my, and it's not even clean. The wheels are mad dirty, but. Wanna push? All right, so now let's go into the into. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I lied. So another exterior option you could look for is the automatic trunk. I think I'm way too far back. Oh, there we go. Look, automatic trunk. So all I had to do was wave my foot down here, and the trunk will go up uh, automatically. And then. Some of them come with a button that you press and it'll close it automatically, but mine doesn't have that. So we don't have that. So yeah. But that's also another feature you guys can look for. Um, another one is remote start. When you click, when you click the BMW key three times, remote start the car. I got check engine light because my tune isn't flashed in yet. So I can't really remote start the car to show you guys. But my car does have remote start. As for your interior options, um, you know, you got your leather, 
So some of them are in full leather. This is leather up here and down here. So this is like a full leather option now, even a dash is leather. Sometimes they don't come with a dash leather. Sometimes it'll just be a plastic dash. Not really plastic, but it just won't be leather. You know what I'm saying? It won't have the full BMW effect. You want that full BMW effect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel, I feel the, um, the, the draws drop off. Come on. So we call it. So this interior color is mocha brown. I thought it was going to be ugly when I saw it in pictures, but when you see it in person, boom, but yo, them wet. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's a really nice color. Like I, I actually rock with this interior a lot. Like I love this color. It's really nice. It's different. It's like a young, rich vibe, you know, young, rich, young, rich, black human being, even though I'm not rich yet, but I'll be rich soon. Wealthy soon. You know what I'm saying? But, and then, all right. So yeah. But another, a big one that I did not know, this is a feature that I did not know that BMW would actually option out on the M340s or a 330 or, you know, the BMW, the G20 chassis. This would be a feature that they option out, which is crazy. And you guys need to keep a lookout for this. Not all cars will come with ambient lighting. I did not know that until I looked at one and it did not have ambient lighting. So make sure you guys play cold, play, pay, I keep saying play. Make sure you guys pay close attention to the interior of the BMW um, that you're looking at because sometimes they won't have the ambient lighting. You really have to like look in detail to see if you see like a little lighting strip or look on the door, see if you see a little lighting strip because sometimes they won't have ambient lighting. So that was that was crazy because you know what I'm saying? The ambient lighting look good. You got it like it's just mandatory. You have to have the ambient lighting. You can't get the the damn M340 and then have no ambient lighting you have to have that so yeah and um yeah so another one uh heads up display i don't have it but it's not really a big deal for me you know what i'm saying uh, another option is harman kardon sound system now with the sound system i did want the harman kardon sound system but i sat in the car so when i was looking at the m340s i sat in one that had the harman kardon sound system and then i sat in this one and i turned the volume all the way up played the same song the only difference is the Harman Kardon is just a little bit, little bit clearer at higher volume. It's really not that big of a difference. So I was just like, yeah, I might as well just go with this one. And the other one wasn't the X drive. It was just a real drive. And it was in some rough condition. It had laser lights. It was like a, I forgot what blue color it was. It was some type of blue color. But it had the laser lights. It had the Harman Kardon. I think it had, no, it didn't have, I think it did have the heads up this way. But the whole paint, the paint of the car looked like a, looked like five cats were living on top of it and they just scratched all of it up like the car was in such rough condition the steering wheel was all chewed up and not chewed up but like it was all beat up the interior was just not you know what i'm saying what not looking good so i was like nah i don't want you know what i'm saying i don't want a rough looking m340 even though i had all the features and all the options it was fully loaded but i didn't want a rough looking m340 you know what i'm saying i just wanted something clean nice so yeah it wasn't really mumba the wall going so it wasn't really that big of a deal. Uh, like this, sound, the stock sound system is still amazing. Like it's better than the Q50, in my opinion. It was better than my Q50 sound system when I had the upgraded Bose sound system. And this is better than that. Well, that that's just my opinion. Okay, so that's just my my opinion only. All right. Heating 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 heated steering wheel for those of you that live up north. Uh, if you need that, you know what I'm saying. But we live down here in the summertime, so we don't really need that. You know. You know. I don't really care about heating steering wheel, steering wheel but it's nice to have it because sometimes, you know what I'm saying, Florida does get pretty cold sometimes, so, yeah. Uh, another thing to look out for is, I guess, you know, the miles on the car. Right now, I just hit 30,000 miles, so a little bit above 30,000 miles. I got it with 26,000 miles. So far, I love the car, man. Machine is amazing. I love this car. But other than that, I don't really think there's anything else to really look out for. If you guys want to, you know, drop in the comment section down below what other features you guys should look out for and stuff like that. Um, oh, there's one more actually. So with this um, 360 camera, right? If I go into the BMW app, I can actually see uh, my car like live view, not live view, but it will take pictures of the surroundings of my car and I can view it. But if the if the person that optioned this car um optioned the video option then that means you can actually record with your 360 camera i don't have that because the person that want not want to option 
that option where I could record with the 360 cameras. Like literally, I could shoot rollers for my friends. I could literally be in my car driving and be like, okay, BMW record and then, or something like that. I don't know, I do something and it starts recording with my 360 cameras. Like it will record with this camera only or that camera only or all three of them. And it will just be recording. And I could save that recording to my phone. Why didn't this person not option that? I don't know. Am I idiot? Cause bro, that is such a cool feature that it's just not option on the card but the the thing is i feel like i could get it but there's some way i just have to find out to code it in if you guys know how i could code that in then just let me know because really it's supposed to be in the um so before the machine cut me off again it's supposed to be in the app store like uh hold on it's supposed to be somewhere in this app in this app store so yeah but it's not there and i should be able to download it that's all you have to do but it just says that feature was an option with your car and i was just like wow but um yeah so that's basically it that's all i really have um i don't have no much no, no so much to say so let me get back out the car and i hope it doesn't stop recording again but yeah i don't really have that much to say that much else uh that's about it really But yeah, fast out family. So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because you know we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Let me know how you guys like this video. Let me know what features or what options um, you guys uh, have in mind or you guys want on your M340. Uh, let me know like any other options that I left out that I should have said in this video and stuff like that. So you can help those that are looking to get an M340 in the comment section down below. But yeah, man. If you guys are looking to get an M340 though and you do live in South Florida, you guys can go over to BMW of Fort Lauderdale and ask for my boy Fidel or Jay and they'll hook you up with a good deal and stuff like that. So yeah. Also the, the merch is still out. So if you guys want to get you know your machine merch with Fast Life Family on the back, make sure you guys DM me on Instagram, Fast Life Prince, to get your merch. You'll be able to get the merch. But that's gonna be it for this video, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys do all that YouTube stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also share this video with everybody you know. Cause you trying to go, you trying to blow up, man. We trying to get to that 20,000 subscribers and keep going higher and higher and higher. Get better and better and keep growing the following. But yeah, man, a lot of you guys been getting empty 40s. So congratulations to all of you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a whole new wave. You know what I'm saying? I do want that G80 next. I'm not going to hold you guys for too long. It's boy Fast Side Prince. Catch you guys in the next one. All right.